The solid state drive I'm going to install is the Samsung 850 Pro SSD. I'm installing it on an HP Z440 workstation, but it is basically the same process on any computer. What you will need is an SSD, obviously, a 6 gigabytes per second SATA 3 cable, and a 3.5 inch adapter to fit the 2.5 inch drive in the drive carriage, since SSDs are narrower than regular drives. The SATA cable plug has an L-shaped connector that fits into the corresponding connection on the drive. The other connector on the drive is for the power cable. In this case, there is a spare power cable in the computer. So the first thing we're going to do is attach the drive to the adapter. Align the four holes on the back of the drive with the holes on the adapter. Fasten the drive with the four screws that came with the adapter. Once that is done, remove the cover of the PC. This is the drive that came with the machine, its power cable and the spare power cable we are going to connect to the SSD. To remove the drive carrier, squeeze the handles and pull the carrier out. Place the drive on the carrier and align the pins with the screw holes of the adapter. Flex the carrier on the other side to insert the pins in the screw holes. Replace the carrier in the bay. Connect the power cable and the SATA cable. On the Z440, there are four SATA connectors. Connect the SATA cable to the next connector available, in this case, SATA 1, the main drive being connected to SATA 0. If you are going to install your operating system on the SSD, you might want to switch the connections, making sure that the SSD is connected to SATA 0 and your existing drive on SATA 1. That will make things a lot easier when configuring the boot order. Also, before installing the operating system on the SSD, disconnect all other drive or drives and reboot from a CD or USB drive with the operating system you want to install on the SSD.